Hey guys, welcome back to At Our Modern Farmhouse with Cat and Pat. So as you can see here in Kansas City, it's been in the low 50s all week and it feels like fall and we are loving it. So we've got the fireplace on out here on the patio. We've got the fireplace on in here in the family room and it is the Kansas City Chiefs home opener. So we are pumped, ready to go. We've got chili on the stove. It's totally fall here in Kansas City. So yesterday I went to Marshall's last night. I was a little excited because obviously it's in the 50s and it was really feeling like fall. So I thought, mm, let me go see what they have. So last night I picked up several pretty cool things. I think they're cool. So you guys tell us what you guys think. So we're gonna go ahead and start. So I found these pillows. And as y'all know, if you watched our segment on the dining room table, we're really into the muted fall colors, the muted oranges, the yellows, kind of the steel blues. Um, so we really wanted to keep in that theme. So I was walking through Marshall's and I found these pillows. They're steel blue, love them. They've got the burlap in here. I just love how they look. They're that really rustic farmhouse look that really goes well with our motif here in our home. So I got these last night. I think they were, I mean, really good deal. $19.99 at Marshall's, so you can't beat that. And if you all continue to watch our channels, you will learn that uh, I don't really like to spend a lot of money, but I do like to find great finds and things that look really cool like this. So I frequent Marshall's a lot, TJ Maxx a lot, Kirkland's a lot, um, the at-home store a lot, different places like that that really have cool stuff. I really think their merchandise is really kind of geared towards maybe the farmhouse kind of uh, theme that we have here. And uh, I find some really cool things there. So um, so I got two of these pillows. So we'll be incorporating those today. I have this silver galvanized tray, aluminum tray that we will be using. And while I was at Marshall's, I found this candle. So not only does, I, does it match the pillows, it brings in that steel blue color, but the fragrant, the scent is pumpkin bourbon. And if you've watched any of our videos and you've seen our bar in the background of some of the videos that we made, you know that we are uh, bourbon whiskey connoisseurs. We really like a lot of whiskey bourbon, kind of trying the different ones in the collections as well. So this is pumpkin bourbon. It smells awesome. Very, very good. It really smells like fall, matches the pillows. So excited to use it. These two pumpkins we have had since our boys were little. They are Gertie and Jack. So we will definitely, we put them out every year and we're gonna do it again this year, um, probably until they have kids of their own. So this is Gertie and Jack, and we will incorporate those as well. Y'all know that we love pine cones. So we've got our pine cones on the table. We're definitely going to use these, especially when it's fall. So you can't beat the pine cones. Uh, this was my grandmother's, so we are going to use this. I love the color of it. Um, I think it really brings in kind of the gold tones that we're trying to incorporate in the fall. So we're definitely going to use that. And then we have the pine cones that I went and picked when we were in Vail, Colorado from their trees there um, when we were there a couple weeks ago. So we'll incorporate these definitely as well. And then we have this cute little guy that I got at the at-home store, so we're going to incorporate him too. So we'll go ahead and get started on this area. From here, what we're going to do is we're gonna to head to the kitchen. And so I got um, several things to decorate the kitchen countertop for fall. So as soon as we get done here, we'll head into the kitchen and then we've got some things for the kitchen table as well. So let's go ahead. I thought I would put these pillows on these chairs here. They're larger pillows. I think they fit the square backs very nicely. So we will put those there. And we'll put this one here, obviously. I think that brings a little pop of color into those two chairs. They obviously have a lot of brown, so that really kind of puts in a pop of color right there for them. On here, we are going to put good old Gertie and Jack, and let's go ahead and turn them on. So cute. We're gonna put those right here on the fireplace. And as y'all can see, you know, I love the stars in a jar. So we definitely have our stars in a jar on. I think it looks so cool in there, especially at night. 
Um, so we will start with the tray in the middle of the table. And we will put pine cones in here. Right now I'm just going to put them in and then we will rearrange them as we put our items in the tray. Put our steel blue candle right there. And let's put, move this for just a little bit. You guys know what I'm going to do with these pine cones. We're going to fill this base right here, bring in the little bit lighter tones of the pine cones that we got in Vail off the pine trees there. Since we have these darker pine cones here, we're going to incorporate some of the lighter ones just to kind of break up the browns there a little bit. So there we go. We'll scoot this back. Make sure our candle, our steel blue candle's there. It incorporates very well with the steel blue pillows. And then we also obviously have Rudy and Jack on the fireplace and they are smiling and shining tonight. Cool. All right, so let's go ahead and head into the kitchen. Follow me, as you can see. So I, I already turned this on, but I did get this last night at Marshall's too. I love it. It's that farmhouse falling leaves candle. Right now our house smells like uh, apples and chili. So totally smells like fall. And stars in a jar. Love those. Have them on. So we'll go ahead and start over here. So I thought what I would do for fall is incorporate uh, the the weighing station. So on either side, I have a weigh mechanism. I thought that might be kind of cool. Either side has one. So we're going to do that. So I have this. Um, got it at Kirkland's. This I picked up at Marshall's. I think it's so cool. Um, a cutting board, but as you can see, it's very rustic. Fits our home very, very well. So we're going to use that as well. And I am totally into these DW home candles. I have several. Sometimes I order them online, but when you, if you go to Marshall's, they usually have a lot of them. So I picked up two of these. They're the olive wood and fig, and they smell so, so good for fall. So we're definitely going to use those. Picked those up last night. Our pine cones from Vail, the lighter color, we're gonna utilize those. And then we're gonna utilize our pears. That brings the pop of color into your kitchen. We have a lot of, as you can see, neutral colors, a lot of brown tones. So we're just gonna bring that up a little bit with some green, kind of pump that color up a little bit. And then this, love this. I really wanna keep kind of the uh, green, blues, kind of muted colors in here as well. So we're gonna use this. So let's go ahead and get started on this side of the kitchen. Um, we're gonna put this one right here in the corner. And we are going to fill it with a little bit of pine cones. That way we have that fall element in there. Losing pine cones. All right, I like that. And then we're gonna put our pears in there. And by the way, these are, these are faux pears. So we can use those year round. They add that color. One right on top that has the red showing, so it really brings in that color a little bit. So this over here, we are going to put this guy over here in the corner. And then we are going to put our, wait, there we go. Put it back in the corner. We're gonna fill the top with our pine cones. And then we will incorporate these candles here 
on either side. I love these tops. If y'all can see those tops, aren't they cool? Ah, those are really cool. They kind of match our motif here in the home. And because they're cool, I'm just gonna kind of take them off and set them so that they can be seen a little bit. And we are going to put some pine cones in front of here. Around the back. more and then we'll toss in some fall leaves as well just to bring that pop of color we've got some pine cone mess over here but there we go so that is that side and then we will bring it on over here and do this side here so on this side again, I have another way and we are going to use that. Put that in the corner. I got these cute little towels at Marshall's too. I thought they were adorable. So we're going to definitely incorporate those, especially since our kitchen is black and white. I thought the black and white check was really cute. So we're just gonna hang that over the scale. There we go. And this little guy we have had for years since the boys were little. So again, we usually fill it with candy. So we're definitely gonna put this, we're gonna put the cat out. And that's as simple as this side gets. Cute stuff there. And then we are going to, so the table, I just, I wanted to do something simple yet kind of make a, a statement. So we are going to, I have these, I got these in Durango, Colorado. Um, they are wood placemats. Um, I just love them and I really think they, they look good on our wood table. It has um, kind of the black that pulls through it. So that looks really cool there. And then I just want to set this piece right here in the center. I just think it's simple yet kind of elegant and rustic all in one. So we're gonna set that there. And then we're gonna incorporate our leaves, our fall leaves. Little pop of color, fall, simple. And I'm actually gonna light that. All right, there we go. So happy fall, y'all. Thank you so much for joining. Please let us know what you think um, in the comments below. And also let us know if there's anything in particular that you guys are wanting us to a how-to video. I know that Pat's done several on cedar picture frames, uh, how to build your own, how to convert uh, your vintage bar sign to LED. Uh, we've washed the stone in the back of our tub with lighting, so um, Pat can do a lot. So if there's anything in particular that you want a how-to video on, let us know. If there's any in particular thing that you want to know about decorating in the home, let us know. We love doing it, so thank you so much for watching. Please click on the logo in the right-hand side of the screen, like, share, and comment. Thanks.